test, test. It's a test. Yay. Hello, uh, I'm Grace Haddon and I'm going to be having a go at some fluff poetry. Um, so if you haven't heard of it, basically fluff poetry is very basically finding um, poetry in internet search results and kind of mashing it together. Uh, there's a really interesting history you can read about online. Um, but I uh, read about it and I thought I'd have a go at it. Um, disclaimer, I'm not a poet by any stretch of the imagination, so this is probably going to be terrible. But it sounded like fun and uh, I wanted to give it a go. So from what I gathered uh, online, you basically just type in anything and just see what comes up in the search results <clears throat> and uh, make a poem out of it. So I'm going to start with adventure arctic circle holidays uh, so I guess you just kind of browse through these are a bit more adverty Mm, nothing's really inspiring me here. What about... That. <laughs> uh... Ooh. I was not expecting an actual fish. So I basically, I guess, find words and phrases that I like from here. I like eats amazingly. I'm going to have that. Yes. <laughs> the start of a very moving poem. What's the other thing I looked at? Uh... I kind of like culminating as well. I'm going to have that. Uh, this is going to be the whole video, just me erming at search results. And if you want to see fluff poetry done well, then just search for it, because you'll find much better than whatever I'm going to come up with. But I wanted to join in! He is an amazing fish. Like that. <laughs> no. Tetra. Yeah. And then basically once you have enough you kind of scramble things around till you're happy with it. <laughs> I love how this is a mixture of people selling pets and cooking them. Penguins. Mm, nah. Hmm, what does that mean? I'm gonna look that up in a minute. The the Emperor Angelfish. Well this is profound. Indigo deep. Ooh, using that, using that. <laughs> I'm none the wiser. 
No, this is just adverts again. You have to search for something kind of random. Or I guess something kind of maybe forum post flavoured. Um <laughs> Wasps are fine as long as they're outside. <laughs> the evil insects target you. I'm gonna use that. I might keep the bold as well. Oops. Fine, we're keeping it. He evil insects target you. Ooh. Tiny bits of evil with wings. I like that. Oop. No, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Is this poetry yet? Oh, what shall I search for? <laughs> Mm, no, okay. Um, dreams about space. This is harder than I thought it would be. Up in the air. Yeah. No, I want to highlight it. <laughs> ah. Okay. Space. Like that. It's kind of fluffy, right? Am I doing this right? Page three. Oh, I, I like that. That's cool. I like that. I feel like I should be trying to kind of get a common theme going here, but I'm not seeing any kind of thing emerging, but I do, I do like this. This is fun. I'm sure this isn't like remotely publishable, <laughs> but uh, there's my title. <laughs> I like that. Ligaments. <laughs> I want that on its own line with the full stop. Ligaments. I think an interesting exercise after writing this would be to make a story that somehow fits with these or has some of the same words. Mandible. Gonna have them. I think I'm doing this right. I'm just kind of, you know, I kind of want to keep the bullet points there though. Hello. Uh. I think my webcam's in the way. Never mind. I'll uh, just do that. There we go. <laughs> it's 
It's one of my favourite words, I couldn't tell you why. Splenomegaly. What? Do I not want to know what that is? I like the word though, I'm going to keep it with the brackets. <laughs> Oh. I have a creative writing degree. <laughs> How far should I go with this? I have quite a lot. How long? I mean, this is kind of a decent uh, poem length, right? I might get a couple more. Ice on fire? What? That's way cooler than what I was going to put. <laughs> Hey, planet fire. <laughs> Doctor Who's everywhere. Yes, using that one as well. I think I'm about done with this. That was another thing on my, um, I made sort of a list of kind of fun writing exercises to do. This was one of them. Uh, another one I had was to write a poem uh, using only words that are not from the English language. So maybe searching for nouns and things in other languages and kind of putting them together. I thought that might be interesting. Oh, rain frog, that's a thing? Okay, I'll use that. What's a rain frog? <gasps> it's so cute! <laughs> it's a little potato frog. Oh, I love it. I don't know, maybe I should be picking out kind of smaller phrases and moving them, but I think with this being full, I think this is enough to work with now. So how do I make this into a poem? Or do I just leave it like this? Ta-da! What should be my first line? <laughs> Ligaments. I can't, no, I want that to be my last line because it's funny. He is an amazing fish, he eats amazingly. They kind of go together, right? So, like that. That's my last line. Yeah, I'm going to have kind of a dark bit towards the end. So like this bit here, I like tiny bits of you with wings, I like that a lot. Tiny bits of evil with wings. Up in the air. This is cool. I'm enjoying this. Th and again, there's loads of um, interesting stuff you can read about this online, um, and some cool examples. I think it's generally kind of tongue-in-cheek, but um, you could also use it just for inspiration. I mean, I'm kind of doing this just for the for the fun, but. You can find some really nice uh, phrases if you know where to look, and I guess you could look on uh, forums or like use single websites to kind of have a themed poem. But I mean, you know, it's a tool there for inspiration. It's you know, it's there to use. I think scientific phrases would be kind of fun to use as well, or like using only phrases that you don't understand. So kind of complicated sciencey bits or long words or I don't know. Perhaps there's an art to kind of uh, knowing what to search for as well. And there's no reason why I can't edit this I guess. I kind of want to keep as much of the original as possible. Oh those kind of go with... Hmm. I've got a few medical bits. I've got things about fish. I have things about space, uh, a bit about wasps, a 
spleen. <laughs> Indigo Deep. That's another good title actually. Maybe that could be my first line? Indigo Deep. He is an amazing fish. He eats amazingly. I want that later on. That's kind of nice. Could this go here? Maybe? I'm not sure about Imperator. It doesn't really mean anything to me. Let's get rid of that. I do like that. It's just funny. It was already botched and then I botched it further. <laughs> I can't even say it and it's funny. I'm sorry, it shouldn't be. Spleens are funny, okay. Pancakes. Put that there for now. I'm kind of down to little pieces now. Eat evil insects, target you. I like this bit. That's my favourite line. I have no idea what this poem means. <laughs> I'm sure there's a knack to kind of giving it the right rhythm and stuff as well. But I'm purely doing this just for some fun with words really and uh, taking a sort of mini break from some longer pieces I'm working on. A retiring creature. I like it. Where will I put that? This is terrible. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll keep that instead of... Yeah. Ah, go away! <laughs> it's playing music at me, I don't know if you heard that. Um, be yeah, a ghost stressor is freaking awesome. The Emperor Angelfish, ghost stressor, mandible, maxilla, splenomegaly. Ugh. Maybe I should take it out, I can't even pronounce it. Splenomegaly. 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 That's not as exciting as spleen. Splenomegaly? Okay. Indigo Deep. He is an amazing fish. Eats amazingly. That thing which we often think in our minds like like dream about our life and mind are going where they. He evil insects target you. When you dream in space, do you start dreaming in zero G? Tiny bits of evil with wings. Up in the air? Space. When I'm in space, I dream about walking, culminating in a bright yellow. Are armadillos mean? Preparing pancakes for them both. But they were living in a new tree. Frogs, squid, fish, and even tomatoes. The, the emperor angelfish. Ghost stressor. Mandible. Maxilla to Splanomegaly. When life hands you a broken cake, make a trifle instead. Architects trees. Melted crayon stained glass earth. Blistering world. Ligaments. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely not claiming to be any kind of poet, but I really did enjoy writing that. It's not useful in any way, but I do like it. This is definitely my favourite verse. Perhaps because it's got kind of two bits linking it together. And for some reason this bit gives me an image, space and yellow together. I like this bit. And I kind of like, I like bits of all of it to be honest. 
and I do like this bit too. Melted crayon stained glass earth was cool as well. So who knows, maybe I'll do sort of a part two where I uh, see if I can make some flash fiction or, or something out of this that makes a bit more sense. But I kind of like it's just baffling and nons nonsensical and silly. I like silly writing. I don't do enough of it. That was good fun. I'm happy with that. I think I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but yeah. So um, if you're wondering how to do fluff poetry, then this is probably not how you do it, but. I recommend giving it a go, it's good fun. Just take half an hour to just browse the web and uh, pick out little bits of things. But yeah, I had a blast doing that, anyway. And uh, congrats to you if you've made it this far, <laughs> watching this. But uh, yeah, I might do some more of these. Um, I have, um, I made a list in here, in my notebook of kind of fun little writing exercises to do and actually the reading about fluff poetry was actually the first entry on here in terms of um, trying new things um, yeah fun stuff or like writing a story in text speak um, there's a few poetry ones uh, write a story in one sentence things like that so uh, maybe I'll do some more of these because uh, they are fun to do just to to take a break from the serious stuff. But yeah, that's me done. Um, and uh, I hope you found it uh, at least vaguely interesting. I know I certainly did. But yeah, give it a go for yourself because it's good fun. Yeah, I'm done. Bye! <laughs>